Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about how we can calculate rolling return for the past 1 month, 3 months, 6 months and 12 months um, for a particular stock symbol in a particular index. In the previous video we discussed the 52 week high and 52 week low calculation. In this one we'll show how to calculate rolling returns. This video might be one of the last videos in the series because we have uh, seen you know, how to use price and volume and how to get historical data in the returns format as well. So once this is done, I'll try to make one comprehensive video where we you know, encapsulate everything, all the knowledge together and see how we can use this and build a working model or a worksheet that helps us in our day to day tracking of the markets. So with that, let's get started. Yes, we can calculate the rolling returns. We just need to play around the formula a bit to get the returns between two different dates. As discussed in the earlier video before, we do have a way to get the price on a particular date. So on the day that I'm recording it's 6th April, the price that closed on 5th April was 427 and 764 for ITC and SPIN respectively. Now to calculate return for one month, we just need to make sure that we have the prices on two particular days divided by price from 30 days before because it's one month so this minus one will become minus 30 I'll add parentheses and then minus one this will give me returns between two dates and it is 3.39 percent and just to show you this formula right here I just tweak the formula to get the price 30 days prior to the date entered in cell E592. So if you do that, the date which is the older one will pop in you know the, the top and then you can use index function to get the second row and second column out of it. And similarly, if you copy paste this in the below row, you will get the returns for SPI. And so in the past one month, ITC has done better than SPI. Let's see how it has done in the past three months. So for three months, you can take a rough figure of 90, right? Sometimes it will be 91 or 92, but I mean, to make sure that you're getting an approximation figure, you can just use 30, 60, 90, 180, 270 metrics to get the rolling returns. So now I can see in last three months, ITC has given me a negative 8% return and SBI has given a 22% return. Okay, let's see how they do in six months. So for six months, they did 180 days. So for the past six months also, ITC has not performed good and SP has given me a whopping 30% return. So clearly, the fortunes have been different in, those, in these two scripts. Now imagine if we can do this for the thousand or like two thousand scripts that are listed on the index NSE. You'll get to know which stocks have been doing well over one, three, six months or nine months or a 12 month period. So for 12 months, we'll use 360. You can use 365 as well. No uh, difference in that. But just for calculation sake, we'll be using 360. And we can see roughly over the past one year, ITC has just given returns of 8% and SP has given a return of 45%, showing us that the PSU banks and the, and so the fact that we know that PSU banks did better over the past one year. So this is how you calculate rolling returns. And now you have most of the things that you need to build a tracking sheet or a model if you have seen all the videos in this particular series. With this, I'll end this and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.